Hello, um, this is my demonstration with oil pastels. I've got my image that I'd like to work with and I've got a piece of primed paper um, and I'm going to pick the colour that I'd like to start laying in with. So I'm going to just pick a blue for now and I'm going to start thinking of the line of the bank and these are really nice um, oil pastels to be able to work from. So as you can see, it's a lovely canal scene and I'm just plotting in the little boat that's on the canal. Um, I'm thinking about the bricks on the bridge and just very gently laying in the lines. So... I'm going to think about the reflections in the water and here is some blue in the water and it's quite easy just to quickly with this color put in some of the tones and that's the nice thing about the primed paper is it's already done some work for you um, and you can also obviously prime it any color Sometimes it's quite fun to work with a pink or orange or yellow. Um, so thinking about that, I'm going to go in with a nice happy colour. And I'm going to think about the marks and just try and be quite confident with the marks that I'm laying in. Because we can always smudge it in later. That's the nice thing about these pastels is that you do a mark that it can, it doesn't have to stay. I'm thinking about the leaves and the branches and also I'm not picking colors that are true to life obviously that's your choice if you want to pick you know beautiful greens and ochres and yellows then you know that's your choice um, so thinking about these colors I'm going to just think about the sky and try to just do some impressionistic lines to just give a little bit of feel for what is in the air and the clouds. Um, and as you can see, everything starts to develop quite quickly with these pastels because they're so lovely to work with. And any brand of pastels is fine. You know, you don't have to use this specific brand. You know, they're all much of a muchness. And then just thinking about the shadow and light in this scene. And where is it hitting? Um, so I'm going to do on the bridge, there are these lines, just trying to neatly draw them in. And then just going in with some of the marks. So what colors are you gonna pick? What atmosphere is it gonna have? Um, and let's see, I'm going to get maybe a grey and a white and an orange for the sky and a yellow. So let's just think, I'm thinking of sunshine, thinking about summer and I'm just making some quite impressionistic marks. And the nice thing is if you do the same image in different materials, it's going to have a different effect because if you're using a brush or if you're using, you know, a stick like this, a chubby pastel, it's going to be completely different. And it's nice because they blend together. So I'm just thinking about the land and the water and the reflections. And what's that going to look like? In my image. And then darkening up some of the areas. I'll be thinking about some darker shadows under the bridge. And where is this boat traveling to? 
Is it going far away or staying close? And I'm just trying to get some of the reflections in the water. And on the bridge, just getting a little bit of the brickwork. And then what's going to unify it? Getting some of the white. And just smudging it in. And it's quite nice because it just harmonizes some of the background. And you can have quite fun with doing quite thick marks. because it's like working with an oil pastel, you know, an oil brush, really. I mean, they're just so lovely. And I'm thinking, okay, well, what contrast do I need to make? Let's have a look, think about colours that we might want to add. I'm thinking some pink might be quite nice to the water. And what marks... I'm going to get my pink and just maybe change the angle of my hand to get a different type of mark. Thinking about these trees, maybe there's some people on the bridge as well. And there's some reflections in the water. Does it need some darker colours, like a brown or black? So I'm going to just go in and do these little marks. And it's up to you what type of mood you want. Do you want it to have a sombre or a summery atmosphere? Is it going to be sort of calm or a bit more moody? You know, because depending on the colours that you choose, it's going to have a different feel. And how dark do you want to make it? How many shadows do you want to have? Perfect. So that is my pastel. Thank you for listening to me.